Hey gang, and my radar meteorologist Matthew Capucci. Think tornadoes and water spouts are a warm weather phenomenon? Think again. A webcam in Greece on Monday captured a rare, fully formed winter water spout amid what many are calling a once in a generation snowfall, including on Mykonos Island. Turkey's Istanbul airport remained closed due to heavy snowfall, with more than 1,500 flights canceled on Tuesday. Of course, if you're joining us on YouTube right now, be sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel. We have so much great content coming, and you will not want to miss Aaron J. Jack chasing and showing you those videos in 3D. Speaking of chasing, here's that incredible video from Greece. It was shot on Andros Island. You can see a blanket of white on the ground from the freshly fallen snow. There are a couple things to notice when we loop it. First is that, if we freeze frame it about two seconds in, we notice actual snowflakes falling, those little white glints you see. It's remarkable to think that we can encounter a tornado or water spout and snow simultaneously. It's crazy, but it does happen. Then we can see how tightly wound that condensation funnel is. Eventually, it moves inland over the hillside and dissipates, but not until that vortex treks ashore, making this a bona fide tornado, or I guess we can say snow-nado. The other thing to pay attention to as well is the shape of the parent clouds. Look at the top right and you'll see some vertical development. On the left, dark clouds. These are convective clouds, or clouds that feed off vertical motions. Because the tropopause, or the ceiling of the lower atmosphere, is closer to the ground in the wintertime, however, the clouds appear a bit shorter than you'd see with, say, typical springtime thundershowers. There's one other thing I really want to geek out about, and it's this. Let's watch the diameter of the vortex between the beginning and the end of the video. It goes from a pencil-like noodle to a stout cylinder. That's because it's being squished vertically as it moves over higher terrain. That forces the radius of maximum winds outwards, and due to the conservation of angular momentum, that in turn weakens azimuthal or lateral wind speed. That helps induce gradual weakening, and the funnel eventually breaks up thereafter. That was a lot of nerdiness, but hopefully you learned something. So let's talk about it. We know the vortex likely formed over the water, and I'd venture to say that water temperatures were extremely mild compared to the frigid air above. At the time, we had an upper level low moving through the region. You can see the counterclockwise swirl on satellite. At least seven water spouts were confirmed when all was said and done. Here's another one shared with private forecasting website Meteo Greece. Winter water spouts are rare but not unheard of. Wade Zalaghi created this nomogram or forecasting method to aid in the prediction of such winter water spouts. The atmosphere doesn't care how warm or cold you are, it's all about how relatively warm you are, since changes in density are what foster the upward motion necessary to brew a strong water spout or tornado in the first place. For winter water spouts, you need to have a roughly 40 degree plus temperature difference between the water and the air barely a mile above the ground. In the summertime, that's almost impossible to do. On rare occasions, though, it's feasible in the wintertime. The development of winter water spouts is rare, but it does happen. Check out these photos from Thursday, January 15, 2009, over Lake Champlain in Essex County, New York. Winter water spouts ordinarily form under the same conditions as Arctic sea smoke, or a special type of fog that resembles steam. Now, believe it or not, I personally have seen a winter water spout before. It was really cool. On February 14, 2016, I woke up at 5 a.m. and brought a half dozen friends of mine to the beach in Boston. We braved temperatures of 9 degrees below zero and went to Revere Beach. Sea smoke and offshore ocean effect snows were all over the place, but look in the middle of this image and you can just barely see a vortex connecting from the cloud base all the way down to the water surface. Here's another winter water spout that you can just hardly make out about three quarters of the way through the image on the left. Look at a tiny white line reaching from the cloud down to the water. It also happened during the February 2021 Arctic outbreak that brought sub-zero temperatures to Texas and knocked out power to four million people across the Lone Star State. Now, bona fide snow natos are tougher to come by since water is often a better heat source than land. They have happened before, though. They can be either mechanical or mesocyclonic. Let's identify the difference. First, you can have these mechanically induced ones, i.e. land spouts. This occurs when a weak surface world becomes entrained in an upward moving pocket of air beneath a snow squall or a developing cloud, which stretches it vertically. Here is an example from February 17, 2019, shot by Antonio Chiquito, who shared it with me as I wrote an article for the Washington Post. That episode may have been a once of its kind event. There are rumors that a tornado may have touched down out of a snow squall in Whitefish Bay, Wisconsin back in 1987, but we can't confirm those. 
But here's the truly meteorologically magnificent thing. We do have one recorded instance of a legitimate rotating thunderstorm that produced only snow. It occurred in southern Ontario, Canada on November 23, 2013. A completely snow event dropped an EF1 tornado with 90 mile per hour winds that actually destroyed a silo. Rime coated snowflakes known as grapple, about a centimeter in width, were reported to have fallen at the same time. According to eyewitnesses, children playing at a party were actually outside catching the grapple in mittens when the wind suddenly shifted and the skies turned dark. From there, a funnel damaged a house, barn, and trees. You can even see that telltale hook echo on radar. All that to say that under the right conditions, you can indeed get tornadoes at any time of year. Water spouts too. They're rare, but they do happen, and they make for something that is really quite meteorologically special. Follow My Radar on social media. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.